Oh, a guest. Welcome to the coffee... Oh. It's you. Well, I guess you are still welcome here, even after what you've done. Oh, there's no use in denying it. You are a liar, and I know it. But I'll still let you order a drink. Just because your word is no good doesn't mean your coin is worthless. Although, they do warrant a second look, just to be safe. You wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Sheesh. You think I'm a fool. Every time you come in here, you've given a different name for your cup. Every single time. I've seen you in here plenty, and try as I might, I still don't know who you are. Well, that sounds like a little bit of a leap. Telling me your name is not the same as telling me where you are all the time. I'm not putting a GPS tracker in the bottom of your cup. The cup is disposable. Throwing away some kind of tracking device like that would get pretty costly pretty quick. If I could afford that, I probably wouldn't be working here. Honestly though, even though you keep making up the dumbest names, I am still willing to do you a solid favor. You've been in here often enough that if you were part of the loyalty program, you'd be getting a free drink. Probably a tasty bakery treat too. So perhaps you might like this offer. I'll put your drink and a brownie on the house and we sign you up for the loyalty program today. It'll look good because I'm signing you up and you can save a little bit of money right now. That's a sweet deal, isn't it? I'm glad you like the idea. I'll just need your real name to get this going. Gosh, why didn't I think of this before? I should have just asked you if you wanted to join the loyalty program. So then, that name of yours, what would that be? And I mean, the real one this time. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you properly. The system here does ask for your full name, so I'll need to ask... Was that short for something? Well, I'm sure that's a lot more fun at parties than when you're getting a speeding ticket. You aren't taking me for a ride with this one, are you? Sure, I know you've told me a bunch of different names to write on your cup, and that was fun and all, but I can't be putting bad information into this system. You'll get me in trouble for that, and if I get in trouble, you'd better believe I'm going to be pulling you into it. So real information, right? Alright, then I'll just need your middle name, and we'll be just about done with that. So, what's that middle name? Oh my word, you expect me to believe your name is that? There's no way, come on then. If you had given your real name, I would know. As much as I like playing games, there are serious consequences to messing around here. You and I already made an agreement for you to get your coffee and a brownie on the house. And all I need from you is your full, real name. You wouldn't be trying to back out of our agreement now, would you? How could you say we didn't make a deal? 
What's not real about it? You think I lied? That is absolutely absurd. You are the one making up names for yourself, and now you're making up accusations? If I wasn't a professional, I might start to lose my cool with someone as bold as you. Now, look into my eyes and give me your name. I need your name to create this loyalty account for you so that I can fulfill my end of the bargain. We made an agreement and we should complete this deal. You're refusing? That would be a very bad idea. Indeed, breaking our agreement is a truly tragic choice. You think the name you gave is as real as the coffee and brownie? How could you possibly expect me to believe that? What, are you going to pull it a fake ID card now? That's... that's not a four-leaf clover, is it? But that means you could see through the glamour. All of this, and you could see right through it? It's all wasted effort? You've come here repeatedly, offering fake names, and making me put on that good old customer service attitude, and the entire time you've known I'm a fairy? Yet you keep stringing me along. That sounds brave of you, terribly brave. In fact, it's dangerously brave. I hope your courage isn't about to run out. On with it then, a final chance for a word of truth from the human so foolish as to play games with the Benji. Tell me what has motivated you to play this way. Are you searching for your own end? You needed a friend that seems about as believable as any name you've ever given. I cannot imagine a reason to believe you. Is something else in your bag going to convince me? Well, I may not believe you, but I am certainly a curious one. Bring it out then. Honey, you brought a jar of honey for me. As an offering? Hmm, well... That is delightful. Have you put any thought into why I shouldn't just take it from you and punish you for your insolence anyways? Hmm. A regular delivery is tempting. What is it you're asking for in return? <laughs> 